Hey guys, this is Devil. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Solarian Infiltrator Tricks and Tips video with the Community Challenge, and yes, there is a prize. Now, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll give you a hint. It's very sharp. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. I'm going to go over the Tricks and Tips video. I'm going to let you know about the contest later. So this is my spec. It's extremely important with this class. I'm rocking a Widow 1. By itself, you never want to bring another weapon because you need to recharge as fast as possible. The Widow seems to hit the hardest. I do have a Javelin and some other things, but I just prefer the Widow. Now, with this class, there's three different abilities that you're going to be using all the time, obviously. Number one is Stealth. You're going to be using this all the time. When you're Stealth, you hit harder. It allows you to maneuver around your enemies. Oh, by the way, this whole video is me soloing the Bronze. It's the last three rounds of Cerberus. It's not that exciting, but I'm just doing a to show off what the class is like. Now, stealth allows you to move around the enemy targets, it allows you to hit harder, it allows you to, you know, flank and let your teammates get shot at instead of you because you're you're not the tankiest of classes. Another ability is energy drain. You just saw me use that against the Atlas. What that does is it steals the enemy shields and gives them to you instantly. It also stuns unshielded organisms like uh, these troopers around here. It stuns them so you can get an easy headshot in, which is great. Now, it's also good when you're coming out of stealth, you can pop them and get your shields back, because when you're in stealth, your shields do not recharge, which is um, very important to keep in mind, because you sometimes you'll be almost dead and go into stealth, and if somebody sees you and shoots you, you're just going to die. Now, the way to play this class, which is extremely important, is to use your stealth correctly. At the end of the stealth tree, you can rewind if you need to, I have the best spec possible. It is absolutely the best spec. I've tested all the other ones. Make sure you get the same spec as me. At the end of the stealth tree, there is a talent point that either allows you to A, shoot a power while stealth and remain stealth, or B, hit like 30 or 40% harder out of stealth. But you'll drop your stealth if you use a power. Definitely always take the extra damage because a lot of people don't know if you, you can stealth fire your rifle and then immediately get your other power out and it'll still count as the cooldown for your stealth or vice versa you can still fire I'm sorry you can be in stealth use your energy drain and then immediately fire while still in stealth as long as you fire immediately it'll still count with the damage bonus and therefore you already got to, you got to use your power you got your shields back or whatever it's that's how you play your class. You're gonna see me do it tons of times this video if you don't understand what I'm saying. It's just a combo that you need to use if you want to be really effective at this class. The third ability is called Proximity Mine. Now this thing is kinda of crappy, I put like three or four points into it. It's not good for you know setting up traps or anything because the cooldown is extremely long. The only time you're gonna use it is like right here. I don't think I use it but I should have is against uh, Atlas's Primes and Banshees. Only once their shields are down, of course, because you'd be using energy drain first. But you go into stealth, fire your rifle, and then shoot a proximity mine immediately. It'll hit the target and de detonate, causing a chain reaction and damaging or killing all targets in the area, which is great for primes and stuff like that because you can shoot it at a prime and it'll kill all the little turrets in the area, so you don't have to waste some widow shots because widow ammunition is. Uh, very low and you see me run to the ammo box like 50 times this round for this game because you only have like 13 shots or something so you don't want to use it on a little tiny turret you know it's it's all right but never just shoot a proxy mine at somebody it leaves you completely vulnerable because you can't get your shields back you can't stealth makes it harder to get away it's just not a good situation and if this was on gold and I was doing that I would die immediately now this class is very good for soloing. There's already videos on YouTube of solo on gold, but for my community challenge, that's not probably going to be the issue. You're, you're, let me explain. The community challenge is you have to solo a silver mission, and own, you're not allowed to use ammo boxes. Okay, there's four rules. Sorry, five rules. No ammo boxes, only the equipment you bring with you, such as rockets, extra ammunition, you, you're allowed to use the extra ammunition clips that you have, and metagels. If you're one of those lucky assholes that has 10 metagels, like I played with some guy earlier who did, you're allowed to do that. Knock it out, 
you'll win the prize. Congratulations to you. The three last rules, no adepts. Because everybody's just going to be like, oh, I'll just use by No. No adepts. No human sentinels. And no vanguards. Everything else is fair game. You can play with whatever you want and knock it out. But there's a couple things you want to consider. Do you want to bring a Solarian Infiltrator with a Widow like in this video? Yeah, sure, it'd be great, but what happens when you run out of ammo? And, you know, keep in mind there was eight rounds before this, and I've already ran into the ammo box like three times this round. Um, keep in mind you want to save your missiles towards the end. Now, this is just a couple tips, you know. You'll, you'll figure this out on your own. Now, to win the contest, you need to fraps or record your video of yourself doing this. If your computer is not big enough to hold an entire game or you don't have the, the processing power, you can record the last three rounds or last couple rounds, rounds 9 through 11, but you won't be eligible to win the prize if you don't do it. You have to do the entire game if you want to win the prize. So basically, what you have to do is perhaps an entire game of you doing this and then upload it to YouTube and then submit it to my video, this video, as a video response. And if you're the first person to do that, You'll win your prize and I'll mail it to you in the mail. So, good luck everybody. There's only 41 seconds left. 40, 39, 30, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, enjoy the last 30 seconds of my video. I will include the rules at the end of the video. You guys can check those out if you want. And make sure you subscribe, rate, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks a lot guys. This is Devil, and I will talk to you later. Good luck. Ha 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 ha!